Hello. Hi. Hi. How's it going? I thought you fell asleep. No, I didn't fall asleep. No, I'm trying to take care of a boo boo right now. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> no idea how we even got it, but started getting infected, so I just cut it back open and I put some uh, antibiotic ointment on it. Oh, okay. I must have gotten must have gotten bit by something. I I, I knew I noticed it uh, earlier today, but I didn't notice it before then. It's probably the fleas from your bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty smart ass. Yeah. I don't have I don't have any fleas in my bed. Okay. <laughs> so. So. I wanted to ask you about your homework that you sent. Okay, when they say when they said perv, I didn't say anything before that for them to say to ask anything about perv. What they did, what they did there was to get me on the subject of sex. Explain a little bit more about what you mean and how they were persuading you to move forward and to do everything that happened. Because, uh, well, because I had. I hadn't said, hadn't been talking about sex, and they wanted to get me on the subject of sex so that I would talk more about sex. So, for, for them doing that, what they did was they asked me what a perv was because they they said they saw a perv in the room. Well, when they said that, I had looked in the room and I didn't see anybody say anything about perv. So the reason that they did that was to get me to talking about sex again. Again, you said that you hadn't done that yet. No, I hadn't hadn't been doing it. Okay. But again, I, well, I really hadn't. I don't know, I gotta look at it again. I, I can't remember if I talked about sex before that or, or what. Do you have it in front of you? No, right now I have my knee in front of me with peroxide. Okay. Well, why don't you go get it? Okay, hold on. Okay. No, I hadn't talked about sex yet at all. So I was only the fourth page in. Okay, so when she said the word perv, that sparked something in you? It must have. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, must have right there. So I didn't say anything about it before. I didn't say anything about it before, so when they when they mentioned that, it must have sparked something to me because I think it was after that that I had started talking. Well, I know it was it was after them saying that. It was a couple of pages down, I think, but after that that I started talking about it. I said, well, what do you mean by perv? What's that? Hmm. Oh, well, okay, I'll tell you. That's when they talk about sex. Some people think it's perverted. Okay, in other words, they don't want to talk about, uh, that's all they want to talk about. You know what I mean now? Okay, I guess. They want to talk about it. LOL. Yep, LOL. A lot. LOL. Be right back and need another drink of water. Yeah, I think it was a couple pages after that. So how do you think that would make you 
be persuaded or guided into talking about sex? Because I put it into my head. Before that, all I had talked about was the school things. Just a regular conversation. Well, not really. Because before then was when you said... Hang on a second. Let me just... Okay, so that was at 10.13 p.m. And... Uh, you can't go by the timestamps because timestamps weren't right on them. Well, I'm, I'm going by the, the order so that I can find the line on here. So in the order of the chat, that was at 10.13. And then at 9.53, at 9 prior to that, you said, have you heard anything that made you say, wow? So that's when you actually were thinking about sex. Um, let me see. I'm pretty close to the beginning. 9 53. 9 53 55. 9 53 55. So it would have been in the Something like that. Yeah, no, not on my page. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? How about if you started? No, my no, my page, my pages are in order. It's just, I was missing 149 pages from this, from it's supposed to 407 pages, and it's from the discovery package. It's, it's not supposed to be missing anything, but the timestamps don't don't match. Yeah, okay. well, I knew that. I knew that before. Well, let's look at this. How about if we start at the very beginning then, and we'll go all the way up until we make that statement, okay? No, because I know what you're talking about, because I know that I, that I read it before. Right. When I, when I first started it out. Right. I can't find it now. Okay, well, we'll find it together. Okay. Okay, so we start at the beginning. You actually read what I, it said I don't want to read it. <laughs> well, you have, you have to now. Oh God! Hi, oh, yeah, it's open. I okay. I'm not gonna start up there because we know it's not up that far. No, start up there. We're gonna do it right. Uh, hi, ASL, please. Yes. Hi, thirteen. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna be Kayla. Let me be Kayla. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you're as bad as Winnie. She wanted to be Kayla too. Some oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so fucking funny. <laughs> so go ahead and go ahead and start again. All right. <laughs> Hi, ASL, please. Hi, thirteen of Kentucky. <clears throat> wow, they're just a young one, huh? I'm using a magnifying glass so I can read this. <laughs> okay. And you have, if you have, if you have like smiley faces and stuff like that, or a rose, you have to say rose smiley face. Yeah, but I don't, I, I, I can't remember the difference. What the, because online, it, it doesn't come out as a rose smiley face. It comes out as the signals on the computer. Yeah. Well, whatever it looks like. Function. Okay, I, I think the one with the A, with the at sign, I think that's a, a rose, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't know where am I. Okay, it's rose. A little cutie, too. If nobody will talk to you, sweetheart, you can talk to me. I'm a good guy. I have two nieces your age. Really? What's your ASL? Well, I should, should say I had two nieces your age when I lived in Washington State. They were your age. They're a little older now, but it still feels to me like, like they're your age. I'm 36 and I'm in Nashville. Oh, Nashville. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you must be bored if you're on the internet. Unless you think it's fun. LOL. That's me. Those are my two dogs. Cool. <laughs> the black one is Buddy and the, the white one is Daisy. Ah, they're cute. I have a cam too if you'd like to see me on cam. You can see Buddy on cam too. I gave Daisy away to my nephew before I moved to the internet. Aw, you gave her away. Yeah, I really wasn't very happy to, but I thought it would be best for 
her because my nephew and his wife have a dog just like her. Cute. Cute. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you get the other two pigs I sent you? Of your dog? Yeah. Okay. Want to see me on cam? Sure. Look at those big blue eyes. You're so cute. Uh, Rose. I don't know what the. That's like a big does. smiley face. Oh, Rose and big smiley face. I am overburdened. Hi. And I have no Hi. idea what that next one is. That's probably like another stupid smiley face. Hi, LOL. Thanks. You're welcome. What time is it there? 8.37. Okay, so it's 8.37. I'm just looking at the timestamp there. She, she said it's 837, and all my thing is reads 637. So it's like two hours difference with timestamp. I just noticed that after all these years. Okay. Cool figure. Okay, it's not, same time you know what? It's, not, it's not something spirit superior or anything. It's going to depend on what, what computer they're looking at, what the timestamp on that computer happens to be. I know. I, I just. I, I just realized that I just noticed that after all these years of looking through this crap, I just noticed that I was like, you know, always find something new. Okay, same time as here then. I thought it was. Do I look cute on him than I do in, in that picture? Oh well. Yeah. LOL, that's because pictures don't do I am very good with me. LOL. What did I say LOL a lot? I know, stupid. Oh, LOL. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> I bet all the boys are at you at school, huh? LOL. Be right back. No, not really. LOL. Okay. okay. Do we really have to say LOL all the time? Yes. You're the Holy stupid ass who put it in there. You're going to have to read it. <laughs> you can say oh, lol. Shit. Do you want to say lol instead? No, it's lol. It's all just as bad as LOL. Okay. Back. Hang on again. I need to put a towel on the bottom of my door so the neighbors will think the lights are out and I'm going to bed. LOL. Okay. LOL. Now I lost my place. Okay. All set now. LOL. Why do you want to do that? Because they're starting to annoy me. They keep coming over here and asking to use my phone, my computer, and if I'll take them to the store. LOL. LOL. They must bug you a lot. Yep, and it's starting to aggravate me. LOL. LOL. Um, so I'm kind of giving them a go away attitude right now. LOL. I find it hard to believe that the boys at your school aren't, after, aren't all after you. You're a little ball. Aw, thanks. You're very welcome. If, you, if only you were like five years old, I'd be after you too. LOL. Really? Definitely. LOL. You did the right decision when you put Princess on your ID name. So cute. LOL. How about if we stop there for a second? So we can kind of talk about what's already happened. Okay. Okay. So there's a couple of things. You had mentioned how cute she is a couple of times already. Yeah. Talking about how the boys at school would be after her. It's surprising that they're not. And it's almost like you're putting yourself in that position, like saying, if I was at school, I would be afraid of him. Especially when you say, if you were only five years older, I'd be afraid of you too. Yeah, I see what you're saying. And then also, why why would you have your cam on for her? Why would she be interested in looking at you? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking at the time. I mean, I know that that you do sort of remember because Greetings. you remember the conversation starting and all of that. So reading this over, I think you can get an impression of what you were thinking about at the time when you started having this conversation with her. But I don't remember turning the cam on that early. Okay. I mean, it's kind of irrelevant, but I mean, you're asking very early, want to see me on cam. And if you're just interested in talking to her and being a nice guy and all of that, which I know we've already talked about and we know that that wasn't the case. But if that was your contention at the very beginning, then 
who cares about seeing you on cam? She sees a picture of you already. Because she saw your other dog that you didn't have with you. And then you're asking her if she thinks you're cute. I don't think I had very good thoughts. You didn't. I don't like reading that same thing. Well, I can understand that. Because it's, at, it's there in black and white. Everything that you were doing, everything that we were thinking, it was really, really clear and obvious. Yeah. It's almost like a mirror of the person in that apartment at that computer talking to her. <laughs> Sucks because it was me that said that shit. I acted that way. So then basically, when you're talking about how they got the ball rolling for you to talk about sex, that's not true. No, it's not. It's actually me that did it. Right. In all honesty, I mean, an adult person isn't going to be interested in talking to a child. There's, there's nothing to talk about. I know. I don't want to see that one better. You didn't see that? I didn't. Well, I think that you've been, you've been trying to not see it. I think because... so, too. Because when I was reading it with Winnie, I wasn't... I was so nervous about reading it with someone and reading it all over again, especially reading it with someone, yeah. playing the part of the girl. Mm -hmm. I think it just made it so I couldn't concentrate on what was being said. And I, I think it was a lot more uncomfortable with Winnie than it was with Winnie did with you. Did you say meh after every know. line instead of LOL? I don't remember. Oh, that'd be kind of funny if you did. <laughs> she probably did. No, oh. her. She probably did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I don't know. There's just something about it. I was reading it for the first time. With, yeah. Because with Winnie, it was the first, very first time that I had ever had another girl reading it with me. Mm hmm So that made me nervous. Okay. Well, I think now it gives you the opportunity to see it in new light. So not only were you trying to see if she's interested in talking about sex, but really the behavior that you were, you were exhibiting was grooming. I'm sure that they yeah. talked to you about that before, right? Yeah, they are. Okay, so what does that mean to you? It means I was trying to prepare her to talk about sex. I was grooming her. I don't think this one here would be nice for deviant reasons. I can't care. Is that the reason why you brought up your nieces? No, no. I know that's not the reason I brought up from my nieces. Because they're that age and all that stuff. I have them 80, yeah. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. Then what, what, what was the purpose of bringing them up then? I don't know. I think just because they were the same age when I used to watch them. I guess. I don't know. I, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it was. Maybe that was part of the reason. What, what comes to your mind when you look at that line? And it's it's pretty... I'm not looking at the line right now because I, I... Okay. I, well, I, I'll every read time, it to Every you. time we take a... Every time we, well, I'll look at the line, but every time we take take a break and talk, I get away from the from the paper. Right, it's at the very top, so it's easy to find. It's right after you say a little key yeah, too. Yeah, Okay. Well, maybe that was to get her to talk and to feel okay about talking to me. Mm -hmm. If nobody will talk to you, sweetheart, you can talk to me. I'm a good guy. I have two nieces of yours. I'd have to, I'd have to say that. Must have been my reason for for mentioning it. Yep. It's very sad. All this fucking time later, I just now get to see this shit. I think it's important for you to read it again. I think it's important to read it again too. But I won't do it with anybody but you. Okay, that's fine. For a couple different reasons, because I'm comfortable yeah. with you. Okay. And you actually stop and make me help me see this stuff. Mm -hmm. And 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 I need to see this stuff. This this shit is this shit bothers me. What bothers you? It bothers me so fucking bad that I fucking talk like that. Well, I 
hate the whole conversation either. But I hate that I talk like that. I hate the whole fucking conversation. But that it was me that said all that shit. <laughs> Why did you say it? Obvious, obviously, for deviant reasons, obviously. I'm not ready to just come up and say it like that, yeah. Why aren't you ready? Because it's fucking hitting me with this. Just come right out and say it. What's going through your mind right now? I want to have sex with an underage girl. So when you yeah, saw her name, when you saw her name, Kayla Princess, is that what you were thinking immediately? No. I would. I didn't even go in that room to look for an underage girl. I was in the adult chat room. We had talked about that before too, that you weren't in a teenage chat room. But you must have seen some kind of a picture because you saw already what she looked like. I don't think they had, that there was a picture on there. Well, at the very beginning, when she said 13 FKY, you said, wow, you're just a young one, a little cutie too. Well, there must have been a picture on there then. Yeah. And I mean, having it say Kayla Princess 94, what does that tell you? Yeah. Yeah. You did message her for the reason of talking to her about sex. Because you saw a picture of her. You saw that she was a little girl. She confirmed it by saying hello to her. And then it was off to the races. Yeah, because I checked out. I always, always looked at profiles before I messaged people to make sure they weren't guys that I was talking to. Mm -hmm. She was fucking hard. It's time for you to acknowledge all of that. It's time for you to go through the chat log and see what you were doing. You know that you were in there to talk about sex. Yeah, but I wasn't looking for an underage girl when I went in there. Though. Not there specifically. It didn't matter to you. And then, not only that, but there were other girls, too. I mean, other girls, too. The other decoys that you messaged and did the same thing. See, I don't remember messaging any other, any other underage girls. Well, I'm telling you, we had, we had talked about it before, that Disney girl and that Kimmy Kimmy. Whatever. Something like that. I and I don't remember them. Because you didn't have a long conversation like this with Kayla. It was just a couple of lines, but they were very similar to the very start of this chat. Wow, you're just a young one, little cuties. All of that kind of stuff, it's the same thing. There you go, we know that it is you. You were going down the list, you came across our skills, and that's who you wanted. What was wrong with you? We talked about this the last time that we kind of got into it. Do you remember what we talked about? No. Well, remember we were talking about how you could manifest and masturbate when you would hear things on the news about kids getting molested and abused. I didn't masturbate to them. You masturbated to the thought of it. You did. No, I, I never masturbated to the thought Born. of that. If it was a I, fantasy, I just... if it was a fantasy of yours, and it turned you on, how is it even possible that you didn't masturbate when you th when you were thinking about it? Because I had always only masturbated to ex-girlfriends. Okay, well then, how was it that you were masturbating when you were on camera with Kayla? Well, because I was right there and happening. Well, it was it was engaging in your fantasy. Your yeah. fantasy was right in front of you. So when you were fantasizing before, all of the time before, there was news stories, that type of a scenario where there was a young girl. That was in your spanking. That was in I wouldn't go and masturbate to those, uh, to those things that I heard of on the news. I don't think that you necessarily would hear it on the news dead after the back of the 
it's possible that that didn't happen, but that went into your memory bank. That was your well, yeah. fantasy. Yeah. So you did masturbate to that. Well, it wasn't in my mind when I masturbated. It my, was a fantasy. Yeah. Was it was a fantasy of yours, though. That's why it's really hard to believe. It's something that, that excited you. So if it excited you, that's going to be something that you're thinking about when you're alone. I don't ever, I don't remember ever dragging the thoughts around with me though. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't remember. No, can I say this? Like after hearing about the stuff on the news, mm -hmm. I don't remember days later or weeks later thinking about it. Maybe not the specific details of the story, but the fantasy itself. You having sex with an underage girl, that was something that you masturbated to. I hate so bad that I put myself in this fucking position. Well, let's stay on track here. We're not talking about the position right now that you're in. We're talking about before when this all started and you had your fantasy, that's what you would masturbate to. And it didn't have to be all the time, because I know that's going to be the next thing to say you thought about ex girlfriends and things like that. But it was a fantasy of yours, it turned you on, and there were moments when it became the subject of what you were to do. Oh, wow. I want you to know that all of this stuff that you're doing doesn't change the way that I'm willing to help you. You know what I mean? There's not going to be something that you're going to tell me that all of a sudden I'm going to stop talking to you or I'm not going to help you. Why not? I told you that. I already told you. I'm not going to lie to you. If I remember something, I'm going to tell you. Okay. And if I'm not honest with you, it's not going to help me. No, it isn't. You're right. And I want to get past this fucking crap. Good. I'm glad that you do. It's about time. It's about time that you work through this instead of fighting against it and fighting against everyone else who has come before me with your counselor. Yeah, I hate it. I fucking this. <laughs> Did you always cry when like things are difficult for you to answer? Where did you learn that? Where did I learn it? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not afraid to cry. It doesn't bother me at all to cry if something's bothering me. Have you ever used it to get out of trouble? Or to no. kind of soften no. the person that you're talking to? No, I can't just turn it on. Okay. It actually comes out when... When stuff is bothering me. Okay. And I don't usually hold the back. Okay. Well, that's fine. <laughs> so now you're going to take a deep breath. I am. I'm trying. I'm trying, trying to stop. Okay. Don't think that just because a guy cries, it makes him less of a man because it doesn't. No, I don't think on, that it does. Guy's not, a man, guy's not a man unless he does cry. I think that sometimes people use crying as a way of getting people to back off of them. Manipulation. You know, I'm, right. I'm not using it for that because I've been completely comfortable with it. I'm not using it for that. You know, for me to get past it, shit, it's going to fucking bother me. And I knew it was going to. It bothered me when I was reading it. Okay. okay. So. As we were talking about, you wouldn't masturbate to the story at the time when you would hear it or when the fantasy would be triggered. But it was a fantasy of yours that you would masturbate to. Yeah, I don't understand that. It's, it's not that that I'm thinking about. How am I masturbating to that? What do you mean it's not that that you're thinking about? If it's not underage girls, then I think about when I'm masturbating. Because it's my ex girlfriend and shit. How is it the underage girls that I'm masturbating to? Well, it didn't necessarily have to be every single time. 
you know, a lot of people will have different things that turn them on. So at whatever moment something happens to turn them on, that that's what they can masturbate to. Maybe I'll remember something down the road. I don't remember anything right now. Even if you don't remember, I, don't specific, I mean, you're not going to remember specific days or something like that, but, or how many times, or whatever, but if it was something that you did have out of the then I imagine it's going to pop up during your sexy time. Probably. You'll know if it does. Why will I know that? Anything that, that we go through here, I'm not going to you. I'm going to lie to you about anything. You have to be able this shit. It's hard living with it. All right. So now we have, we have had a couple of things come up. So we know now I that the, the person who was Kayla did not do anything in order to get the sexual stuff started with you. No. No, I know that. That, that was you. Years later. Yeah. Well, I think you knew that. I think you knew that the whole time, Lauren. And you were just in denial. You didn't want anyone else to believe that about you. So a lot of times when somebody does something shitty, then they're just going to protest. And they're going to protest strongly. And that's kind of what you've been doing. And that's in order to get people to back off. You didn't want people to, to question this about you. And unfortunately, when people go along with what you said, like your mom and your Aunt Sharon, when they take the position of perverted justice is the problem, Chris Hansen is the problem, you never should have been on that show, they're not helping you. I know. I know. They're just... They're protective. Well, unfortunately, that played into how you were responding to other people, too. I don't... I wonder if... If that's why I did this. So what happened to me? Well, I'm not, I'm not going to agree with that. Because I, I think just, that... I just want your opinion on it. I don't want to agree with it. I'm, I'm not even saying that that's... The reason why I I'm just wondering if that's why I can figure it out someday. Well, there's a lot of people that have stuff happen to them, like that use. And they know how much it hurts. And they're not going to then put that onto someone else. The, most, most people that, that abuse have been abused. That's not an out. No, it's not an out. That's just what they they told me. That's I, that's what made me wonder if, if that's why I did what I did. I, I don't agree with that. Anymore. That that's the reason why you did what you did. No, I, I can't really say that it is either. But I can't say that it's wrong. I don't know. But I I, I want to figure it out. It's just like when you hear someone who has who had an experience with someone who was an alcoholic in their family. And that was so traumatic that they never drink. So just because you have that experience as a child doesn't mean that the, you then move forward and become the abuser when you get older. Yeah. The reason why this happened with Kayla, it was because you liked underage girls. That was your fantasy. Are you sure that's the reason though? I would say so. Maybe that's one of, one of the reasons I did it. There's been more than one reason. The reason why you did it was because you had a fantasy of having sex with an underage girl. Well, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with that because it's obvious. Right, it's obvious. So, that's the um, reason. I'm just wondering if there's something else I was driving it to. If that wasn't the only reason. That is the only reason. How do you know that? Well, listen, I, I'm going by what I can feel 
Yeah. And by what I've seen through the conversation, what I heard in the phone calls, the way that you showed up at the house, it's obvious, Lauren. And it's obvious that you've been in denial for 12 years. You're saying... Could that be another, could that be another reason, too, because I wanted control? You did want control. Sure. You wanted to be with this girl who didn't have any experience. And I would have to say that the sexual experience that you had previous to that probably wasn't very positive. It sounded to me like your experiences were kind of like fumbling around drunk. And then that was it. And so if you're with someone who doesn't have the experience, who's a virgin, she's not going to laugh at you or make fun of you that you have a small penis that's weird no I've not been made fun of I've never been made fun of I've never said to your face to my face and so basically and I've, and I've never heard anything after either well no they're not going to tell you they're going to tell their friends kind of how it works yeah I am overburdened take for seconds maybe you'll see something more right now. Well, what went right is that they found someone as desperate as them. Okay, stop punching me. I'm not punching you. I'm, I'm telling you what my impression is. So getting back to, to what I was saying, I think that, that you probably felt insufficient during sex for some reason. And so maybe a virgin isn't going to know any different and you're going to be able to feel like powerful having the first experience and she's not going to know if it was good or bad it's just going to be good because you're telling her that it is am i really going to know if it's good for her yeah you're not going to know but you also really don't care either yeah Yeah, i mean sex with a 13 year old is never going to be good for her but you wanted to act as if it was going to be. I'm an asshole. Not you, me. Well, I know I'm not one. I don't know. No, I was pushing like an asshole. And I remember fucking doing shit like I didn't even care. You what? So I remember doing shit like I didn't even care at that time. Stupid. Stupid. I was worse off than me. This happened. Probably saved my life. This happened. What do you mean, saved your life? <laughs> I was being stupid at the time. I was drinking and driving. I was like, go down to the fucking bar. I was in front of somebody if they offended one of my friends. Just being stupid. I didn't well, care about anything. The thing is, is that yeah. you're, you're linking everything that you were going through at that time as far as drinking a lot and stuff you're, and being stupid, as you say. You're linking that to what happened on the internet talking to an underage girl. And it's not the same thing. I know, but I didn't show any fucking care at all. No, you didn't. And you, you still have exhibited that up until the last time you drove drunk. You didn't care then. Yeah. You didn't care about the fact that you haven't paid Betty back after all of this time. You were still willing to spend your money going over Tony's, going to the auction, all that shit, building onto your house, stuff that made you okay. So, Good you know, all of the all of the stuff that has to do with how your life was spinning out of control has nothing to do with what you did on the computer. That was 100% intentional. That was your fantasy. And the internet gave you the platform to be able to act it out. And that's exactly what you did. Yeah, that's yeah, right. It was in secret. Everything that you were doing was in secret. You thought it was going to stay that way. That's why you drove there. You're yeah, right. I want you to say it now. Well, I'm not going to get every word. Word no, word. you don't have to get Whatever. a word for a word, but I want I want to make sure that you understand this because the issue that I have is that we've been through this before. Everything about that a I month did. ago. Every everything that about, I did. Wait a minute. About a month ago, we went through this. 
and you made the admission about your fantasy, you made the admission that you went to talk to Kayla on purpose, everything you said was your fault, all of that. We went through all of this. Yeah, but we ain't gonna do the shit log yet. No, but as soon as yesterday you were saying, I know I didn't want to go there. You said it again. I know. And it's evidence that you still don't get it because of the response that you gave to the question that was in the workbook for class. All you're interested in doing is looking around and seeing whose fault it is. Well, it's my fault. I, I know that. I, I didn't see it until, until we started going through this. I don't know why I have to go through this all over again 12 fucking years later to be able to see this shit. How could I possibly fucking block that out? Well, because you were trying to point at everyone else. That that's This is the reason why you brought up how you were molested as a kid. You're trying to look for an out. And say, well, maybe that's why I did it. Well, trying to look for, for a reason. The I reason why I would is... Something, something like that. Or, I'm going to spell it out for you again. Well, I, know, I know what you're saying. You're saying it's because it was a fantasy of mine. I know what you're mm -hmm. saying. Right. So that's why. That's what why, you're saying when you're saying that. Then why you is begin? your next statement? I need to find the reason now. I need to figure out. I want to figure out why did I have that fantasy? What made I me have that, have that fucking fantasy? I can't tell you why you had it. The fact is that you did have it. That's the specific reason why you had it and the other girls that you were going after. And the reason why you showed up at the house was because you thought you weren't gonna get caught. And the idea of you doing that was better than the other story that you tell and saying that there was a friend of yours that was going to kill you. You were not going to give up the opportunity of meeting up with a 13-year-old virgin when you knew that she was home alone. You weren't going to give it up. That was your once in a lifetime, hopefully not once, but there was your first shot. So you were going to take it and you did. You didn't think anyone was ever going to find out. And that's why I went there. That's why you went there. I really did never think that I would go there though. I really was supposed to be just talking. Why is that even okay? It's not. It's not okay. But you're making it as if I wasn't, it was just going to be talking. I didn't plan on actually going to fuck her. Instead, it's not okay. I was going to expose myself and I was going to say that I was going to marry her and tell her that I was in love with her. Disappoint her like that, a 13 year old girl. And then what? You were going to disappear? It's not okay. If you don't remember Disney Girl and Kimmy Kimmy, I can bet you that there were others. I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember those two. I know you don't remember. Mentioned. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. This really sucks that it's taking so fucking long for me to just get this far. Yeah, it does suck. That's what I mean when I when I mentioned that that's the reason why all of your shit on YouTube is just flooded with trolls. That's the reason why you get the letters that you do. Everything that's happening is because of your attitude. I can almost bet that attempts have been made to contact other predators and they go absolutely fucking nowhere. You can bet the what? Sorry, I got lost for a second there. I can bet that there have been attempts to get in contact with other predators that were on the show. And they haven't gone anywhere. Well, well uh, trolls on the internet? Yeah. They didn't start YouTube channels and try to make videos about their excuses. And I'm not saying that they're any better than you. I'm just saying because you have made those excuses so out there and, and blasted them for everyone, the response that you <laughs> have gotten is no surprise. Being defensive. Being defensive and being in denial. Yeah. Trying to look around and talking about everyone else. Trying to blame talking, other people. Talking about your family business. 
saying that, oh, it's because of my brothers and my sister. Trying to say, oh, I talked to Kayla and I, you know, quote unquote, fell in love with her because she didn't want anything from me. She wasn't asking for money. Like you're just searching around. And I remember you saying the most ridiculous excuses like it was thundering and she was home alone. I wanted to go check on her. Are you serious, Lauren? This is the shit that you're spitting out. It's crazy. And it's it never said it was because it was thundering. Jesus I Christ. Was, you know what the problem is? Is you hang on to like this little detail and then you <laughs> deny it. Sorry. You, you completely turn it around like, oh, well, that's not true because I never said. Well, I don't know. I didn't. Uh, what is it? I remember the old details. I just fit them all. It's that way. The know, point is. The, road. the point is. You were going to go check on her. You wanted to make sure no one was hurting her. And then you were also saying, well, I didn't really want to go there because I saw it was thundering and Bud was home alone. And he didn't like it. The point is that I was being defensive about everything. When right. I was wrong about everything to begin with. Yeah. And so I'm telling you that these are even the excuses that you've told me. And I've just had to say, no, Lauren, that's not right. Let's start again. And this is the thing, I, I thought a month ago we had come far because finally you were able to starting to admit stuff and then you backslide into saying, I know I didn't really want to go there. And like I told you last night, that just means I know I didn't want to go there to get caught. That's true too. I didn't want to go there because I didn't want to get caught. Right. That, uh, that was all the purpose of not wanting to go there because I didn't want to go there to get caught. Obviously, I had the fantasy. Yes. And I was playing out the fantasy on there, and I was playing it out too far because I went there. And I couldn't stop myself. You didn't want to stop yourself. I guess I didn't because I went there. Right. So stop saying that you didn't want to go without continuing with that statement and saying, I didn't want to go there to get caught. Right. Didn't want to go there to get caught. That's definitely the reason. But you did want to go there. But I didn't didn't, want to go there. You didn't think you were going to get caught. That's that's why you were being careful about stuff. Yeah, it is. Setting back all the things that I said. All the hiding shit. Mm -hmm. I just remembered the lock on the door. I mentioned probably getting the lock on the door. Mm Mm-hmm. You wanted to know when her parents were going to be gone? Yep. You wanted to know how much woods was around her house? You yep. wanted to know if she had a garage? You wanted to just pull up and have her jump into the truck so you guys could drive away and no one would see yeah. you? Yes, I thought you were making fun of the truck. I know. Smart ass. But there were so many steps. There were so many steps and a lot of precaution taken on your part. That's why you can't go back on any of this stuff. That's why it's so frustrating to talk about it with you. When you say stuff, I know I didn't want to go there. I guess you did. <laughs> it's never hit me until we, until we started reading through that. Okay. I don't know why it didn't hit me when I was reading through it. Well, I know why. I'm just I'm so nervous about it not wanting to read it. It's going to be uncomfortable because it's disgusting. It, I'm telling you right now, I'm thinking ahead to it. And I know it's going to be uncomfortable. And I'm really going to hate it too. Okay. So we're going to do it. We're going to read the entire chat log. Okay. It's so fucking hard to do this. Okay. Hang on one second, okay? I'm going to let you take a couple of deep breaths, and then I'm going to come right back, okay? Okay. Okay. (laughs) Okay. 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 All right. So, how are you feeling? 
I'm better. I just blew my nose. Okay, good. All right. So I don't know that we will get through the entire thing tonight. No, I know we won't. Okay. That's that's a lot to go through. It's a lot. So what I'm thinking is we can do it in days. And so it'll almost be like chapters. Okay, you're going to be paying attention to the timestamps for all Uh yours? Yeah. For days? Okay, because... I, you just tell me when to stop. It's hard okay. for me if I can do it on this because maybe I should screw it up on this. Okay. Yeah, we can just, um, I'll let you know when to stop because I can follow it along on here. And, uh, and then we can, you know, if it's a short day or something like that, we can do a couple of days. Um, but we can at least know where where we're at and it'll be a clean break instead of yeah, no, I'm, I'll mark it with my pen on the paper where we're okay at. perfect perfect okay I got a question for you sure why do you want to help me so much well I think that you need it number one and for some reason you listen to me I know and so I think it is really odd um and I'm hoping that it's not just going to be me because you need a lot of help. <laughs> There's this potential that I see. Everyone needs this. Yeah, I know. Your life can be so much better. You know, it used to be a lot better. I thank God for you because I've never been able to open up to anybody like I've been in you. Yeah. And that I needed it. I think you did need it too. But I think that with Emma's background, she can really help you dive deeper into this stuff. Yeah, we get her out of her little pit first. Well, she she's going through something right now and but she has the experience, she has the education. I don't. Maybe I wish I did. Out, that might help her get her out of her little pit that she's in. I know maybe. she's not feeling good about herself. Yeah, maybe. So that'll kind of okay. be like a goal that we can we can work toward to get her more involved in talking about this with you. And also having you successfully complete the assignments that are in your workbook and give yeah. you true and honest answers instead of this bullshit that you're putting down on paper. And you know that it's bullshit, right, Lauren? Well... I know I put down what I had in my head, and I know I was hurrying. I wasn't you looking. Can't, you anymore. can't hurry through stuff like that. These are important questions. You've been bitching about having to take this class again, and yet you're not putting your full effort in there. Well, okay, with the, with the first ones that I put in, I, I never put the full effort in because I know I'm going to get feedback on it. And so I know I want to know which, which direction to go with it. Well, you, know, you, you put, these are, these are your answers. So in order for you to get proper feedback, you have to put in your answer. What is your true answer? When you do that and they provide feedback or reactions to it, then you can work with that. But the important thing is not to just scribble something down. That doesn't make any sense. So they can say, no, Lauren, this is actually what, what you should be saying. All right. Okay. Put more time in. Put more time into it before you. Absolutely. When I do. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. No more scribbling. No more scribbling. No more trying <laughs> to sugarcoat the answer so that it's not as bad as what it really is. It's important for you to be completely raw with it. All right. Okay. So on every exercise I do, you want me to go over them with you before I get called on in class with them? Yeah, we can. We can absolutely do that. That's no problem. All right. I would okay. Love that. Okay. Good. All right. So, how about if we get started? Okay. We did a little bit of it before, but we're gonna get started again. This is gonna be really hard on me. You don't let it you. Yeah, I do. It's gonna be hard on me too. That I, I don't want to do this. 
I know. It's not like it's an enjoyable thing to hear you cry as you're reading your crime. He didn't fucking think him all reading it. Well, it doesn't last forever. It does come to an end. So we're going to be able to get through it. You're going to be strong. I think it's upsetting to you now because, first of all, it's embarrassing. And then the other thing is, too, is that you're having to acknowledge that you have this sexual attraction to a girl that age and that you meant to do it. All of the things that were said up until this point, and I can tell you it follows through through the entire chat log, everything was said by you. Yeah, I know. It was all my fucking fault, too. Well, it was your fault, but everything that was said was you. It was me. Yeah. You were answering your own questions. I know. When it comes to fucking disgusting shit, this is gonna be so fucking hard. This is gonna be stressful until right? so we're done with it. Mm-hmm. But that's I'm what it so takes. Sorry that you get to read it. Well, somebody has to. I think it takes a lot more than just reading it silently to yourself. It means more to say it out loud and to read it with someone else. Yeah, well, that someone else being a female makes it even harder. You're seeing all of, all of your calculations that you were making, all the manipulation that you were doing. And like I said, this is just the beginning. This is going to be hell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but the bright side to that hell is that you weren't talking to a 13-year-old girl. Yeah. That's the That's bright the side to it. Mm-hmm. That's the lucky part. The lucky part for the girl. And it's lucky for you as far as you not being in prison right now. I know. Do you see that it's easier for you to say this to a 13 year old than it is to an adult? Right now? I don't, I don't see it right now, no. Back then, I obviously, I didn't give a fuck. Well, back then, you, you had your prey right in front of you. You were disguising yourself as someone safe. And you were walking around your apartment and wanting her to look at your dick so that you were hoping that she was going to be turned on as much as you were showing it to her. Yeah, I know. Fucking disgusting pig. 